The Compass. Life's an everyday adventure. That's my philosophy. Yesterday was a terrific day. In the morning, I received a package from my uncle Marcus. The only problem was that I had to wait until noon today to open it. As waiting is not exactly easy for me, I tried to keep myself busy all morning. I read, I colored, I brushed the dog, I even reorganized the refrigerator for my mother. It was now 11 a.m. and I had only one more hour to wait before I could open the small box. Molly, why don't we go for a walk? It may be a perfect distraction for us. My mother said as she grabbed two sun hats. I agreed, and off we went. Just down the road, the dog pointed out some new birds we had never seen before. As she pulled on her leash to investigate, we giggled as we held her back. Then we noticed a tree we hadn't seen before. It was huge, so it must have always been there. The walk was so much fun. I almost forgot about the box. Finally, we arrived back home. My mother said I had only five more minutes to wait. I placed the box in front of me on the kitchen table and stared at it until my mother said, "It's high noon, sweet pea. Are you ready to open the box?" I didn't waste a second. I opened the box as quickly as I could. Wow, it was beautiful. I wasn't sure what it was, but I already loved it. It also came with a scroll of written instructions that my mother began to read. Molly, this compass is for you, so you will always know how to find whatever it is you are looking for: north, south, east, or west. Love, Uncle Marcus. A compass! I had heard of them, but I had never actually seen one, and now I had one. My mother explained that people used to navigate by the movement of the sun before they realized the Earth had magnetic energy. Once they discovered that, they created compasses, which are always attracted to the magnetism of the North Pole. Once you know where North is, then you can figure out where South, West, and East are. I was fascinated. I stood up in the kitchen with the compass in my hand. And it immediately moved. I was facing east. Cool. Next, my mother began to read more of the scroll. It said I was to stand at the back door and take twenty-two steps to the west into the backyard. I did, and ended up at my favorite tree. My mother read on. The note said I was to go behind the tree and gather the items left for me. Oh, this was. Fun! I found a blanket, some paper, and markers. I placed the blanket down and waited for the next instruction. It says that you are to draw a big snow-covered mountain and a boat in the middle of the ocean. My mother read as she sat down next to me. I drew the two scenes. When I was finished, my mother read what was next. I was to take thirty-three steps toward the east. I did, and I was suddenly in front of another tree. My mother pointed and asked me to look up. A picnic basket was in the branches. My mother brought it down. On top of the basket was another note. It said, "I thought you might be hungry." Uncle Marcus was so clever. How did he do all of this? I wondered. We sat down and ate the great snacks he prepared for us. After our delicious snack, we popped up and read what was next. I was to take five steps south and do a crazy dance for five seconds. Then I was to take five steps east and jump up and down for ten seconds. I was instructed to take another five steps north and flap my arms like a bird for twenty seconds. Finally, I was to take five steps west and rest. I had walked in a square, and I was next to my mother again, who was still giggling at my funny moves. Our next instruction was to go south for forty-five steps and look behind the bushes. I did, and there was a tray with two fresh lemonades and another note. I thought you might be thirsty. 
We smiled and drank our lemonade. We got to the last instruction that said we were to head north until we got to the front door of the house. Once there, I was to knock three times and say, A curious mind is never bored. As I did, the door flew open and there was Uncle Marcus. That's what I always say, he said as I gave him a big hug and thanked him for my new compass. What a surprise! It was now time for my mother to prepare dinner, so Uncle Marcus and I sat in the kitchen with her and talked all about compasses. Then he asked me to grab the two pictures I drew. He explained that his compass had saved his life in these two places. Once when he was in the snowy mountains and couldn't find his way south, and another time when he was in the middle of the ocean and needed to go west to get back to land. Knowing how to navigate and use a compass can be life-saving, and I'm so happy you now have one too, Uncle Marcus said as he kissed me on the forehead. My father came home just in time for dinner. I proudly announced, dinner is to the east. We all laughed as we sat down to eat. Knowing how to use a compass is great. Now I can find almost any place in the world, east, west, north, or south. Molly Moccasins, Everyday Adventurer.